Hey guys, Simcoder here and today I'm going to bring you uh, yet another uh, redesign. Uh, this time it will be on Snapchat and yeah, I just went over uh, the entire app, I corrected some bugs, I added some features and uh, most importantly I redesigned it to look uh, as close as possible to Snapchat attending to the features that we have implemented right now. So let me just go over uh, one of the major uh, changes that I've made. Uh, some of you uh, said that, well, Camera API 1, which is the one that we used in the clone project, isn't up to date uh, as it should be. And because of that, I implemented uh, a library called Camera Kit, which will implement the Camera API 2, which is the mo most recent one, and it has a lot of features. Um, it calculates the size of the screen automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. It has flash and it can, rever it can reverse the camera, so you can use front-facing camera. So it has all of that, and obviously you are more than free to, to add any other uh, things that you, you might want. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we have the login screen right now, and as you can see, it looks basically like Snapchat, uh, all the way up to the login screen, so I'm going to log in with all of the accounts that I have set up right now, gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, login. And you can see uh, uh, right now the layout and how much uh, like Snapchat it looks. And one of the things that I want to point out is that I've changed the app so that it will, um, it now, Basically, I believe we don't use activities. We have one main activity, better yet, we have two activities. We have one activity for the login screen, which handles everything from the launcher to the registration process. And we have one activity for the main part, which is the camera, uh, the chats, the stories, the profile uh, edits. Uh, and I did this and I'm starting to do more of this because, well, it is good to have something that controls um, the something that you have a base on and in this case when you use uh, fragments which is what I used um, you can have one base which is that activity controlling all of the fragments above and uh, having relevant information that you can pass around really uh, in a really easy way and that's why I've changed everything to fragments and you'll be uh, you'll see that uh, it is the code is a lot simpler. Okay, so now let's jump into the apps and you, we are, we are, you are free to scroll uh, to the right to see the stories and you can also use the navigation bar that you have in the bottom. So if you want to go to camera uh, in this uh, fragment, for example, in this uh, emulator, for example, you can simply click it and you'll go there without the need to swipe, okay? And that's one of the few things that Snapchat has that I implemented in here. And okay, so now uh, let's uh, stick to the cameras. Uh, you are able to uh, have flash or not don't have flash, as I said before. Uh, you are free to revert the camera. And in the emulator, when you revert the camera, it simply mirrors the camera so that you, so that you know that the camera changed. And as you can see, it is changing on all of the emulators and yeah so uh, now let's see a story for the user one for example and it has the loading animation okay you are still able to go to the next one and these are some pictures that i took just to show you guys how it works and as you can see the user appears in here okay so that's it. Now let's just take a, a picture really quickly. And because it is the emulator, well, it bugs out, it is normal, but in, in the phone, it works normally, as you just saw from the stories. Then you are able to uh, choose uh, whom you want to send them the image to. And as you can see, this layout was also improved to look exactly like the Snapchat. And this one really does look exactly like Snapchat clone. And you like the Snapchat app, let's send it, you have a really cool dialogue and then everything rolls back to the to the main activity. Um, again, uh, I've changed some things and one of the things that I did was implementing uh, image and name. 
So you are able to change the, the, the photo that you want. You can come in here, pick this. Okay, it appears there, but it is cut off. So if you click OK, then it will save it and the image will appear right in here. And you can do the same for this one, for example. And in here, you can see the uh, purple things. So save it and it appears in there. And yeah, that's it. And I'm not going to go over the, the chat part because it works basically the same as the story uh, fragments. So yeah, the only difference is that it is removed whenever you see and you don't have to refresh. Uh, this is another thing that I implemented. Uh, right now, the refresh is done with a swipe instead of the button, which looks kind of bad. And yeah, the final thing that I'm going to touch on is the search uh, part, which now is in the fragment, as I've said, and you to ac access it, you just have to click the search in here and then type in whatever you want. So user. And as you can see, you can clear it. It doesn't have any bugs whatsoever. You can unfollow, follow. And in here, I've also changed the buttons. So it matches the, the whole style of the, the app. And yeah, that's it. You are also able to clear the search bar whenever you want. And yeah, that's it. So after that, you can simply log out. And we are done. So the sign up uh, part I didn't go over because it is just the name, email, password. It's really simple. And yeah, as far as it goes, it is done. Now it has all of the features that it should have, all of the additional features that it should have better yet. And yeah, you are free to, to download it, to, to get uh, the, the code, you'll get the project and you'll just have to set it up with your Firebase account. And apart from that, you're free to go. You're free to, to do with it, whatever you want. The code is yours, only yours. And yeah, I don't have anything to do with it. So um, yeah, just go to the link down below and you will be able to, to see a list of all of the things that I've changed. And if you want to get it or not, it is completely up to you, of course. And I would really appreciate it if you did. Uh, leave a feedback if you get the project and tell, uh, let me know what you think about it. And if you feel like something is missing and if I uh, see a lot of people complaining uh, and wanting something to be added, then I will and I will release uh, yet another version of the, the project, which you, if you bought it, will be able to download it, of course. Okay, so that's all uh, that I wanted to say. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.